Hello Navigator. Today our topic is onboard NAPTEX management. So the first concern, what is NAPTEX onboard? NAPTEX is an international automated direct printing service for promulgation of maritime safety information. In other words, we can say NAPTEX is a system for the broadcast and automatic reception of maritime safety information by means of narrow band direct printing that is NBDP. So NAPTEX only can receive message and print message. You cannot use NAPTEX to send any message to somebody else. We will try to cover this NAPTEX management in two separate video. One will be theoretical, another will be practical. Please watch both videos to be efficient in NAPTEX management. It works internationally on 518 kHz. Now the question is where is this NAPTEX station? This NAPTEX station is situated under a navigational area and there are currently 21 nav area throughout the world. So the whole world is divided in 21 areas currently. This is nav area 11. Each round drawing you can see is centered to actually uh, one NAPTEX stations. Under each nav area, there could be 24 nav stations maximum. Why 24 nav stations can be maximum? Because it all the stations working on the same frequency of 518 kHz and for each station is named like A, B, C, D. So A to X that is 24 and this A to X all stations have their own scheduled transmission time for each station there are six times of transmission in a day and NAPTEX follows this time sharing basis schedule criteria so that this single 518 kilohertz can work for the whole world without any commingle of broadcast time later I will show you in paper this predefined broadcast schedule for each station now the concern is how a NAPTEX message looks like this is a printed NAPTEX message now let's talk about how to read this NAPTEX message ZC ZC it start with ZC ZC and then UE92 thing is whatever documents I am referring to all are from ALRS volume at the end of the video I will show you in digital LRS volume from where I have taken all these reference documents just beside LRS reference paper we have written the heading of the message that was UE92 U is denoted by B1 E is B2 9 2 is B3 and B4 B1 indicates transmitter identity other way the station number B2 is message type B3, B4 is NAPTEX number. So B3, B4 always this is two figure and that's why we understand this is always two digit B3, B4 and that's how we understand 0 to, 9, 0, 0 to 99. So maximum 99 message we can receive in a same sequence. Again it will start from the beginning. Message numbering B3, B4 what it says here just summarize for you any numbering will be going till 99 and then it will recommence from 01 when it will restart from 01 it will avoid those numbers which are still in force now let's talk about b2 which was type of message b2 which was type of message now how many type of messages are there there is the answer a from a to Z there are this much of message types but for your information only four of them are mandatory to receive that is A B D and L L A B D L A B D and L these four message types you cannot you cannot even remove from the setting of the NAPTEX others you can remove as you want 
and now let's talk about what are these type of messages. A is navigational warning which is mandatory to receive. B is meteorological warning which is also mandatory to receive. C is ice reports. This is not mandatory to receive. D is search and rescue information. E is meteorological forecast. F is pilot and VTS service messages. G is AIS service messages. H Loran messages. I spare. GNSS system messages. K is other electronic navigational aid system. L is other navigational warnings. M2U also is spare. V2Y all special services. And Z no message on hand. These are the type of messages. And the first one B1 indicates the name of the station. Here it is U. And we can check which one is U under Navaria 11. U is Manila. Who is the authority for this NAPTEX? Is Hydrographic Office, Meteorological Office, and RCC, that is Rescue Coordination Center. So, navigational warning, they provide navigational warning, meteorological information, search and rescue information, and other urgent safety related information. All these type of messages are coordinated by NAPTEX coordinator and they sent through either NAPTEX station or there is one more option that is set C safety, safety net. But let's talk about NAPTEX now. So how, how NAPTEX coordinator provide this information to the vessels through NAPTEX stations. So vessel received through NAPTEX land earth stations. These are vessels they are receiving from this NAPTEX station and each NAPTEX station has up to four, 300 to 400 mile of coverage. Now let's get back to the message. Now let's verify which is indicated by E. We, we read about the type of message E is meteorological forecast meteorological forecast now we will verify with the message is it meteorological forecast or not so it is started 04 may this 04 is date in indicated indicates dates 04 may 2021 1323 utc time so penang also here the station name is written and now let's verify whether it is meteorological forecast or not so it says about the message is actually start from here as i understood weather and c bulletin valid 12 hours from so and so date and time and yeah there is a weather forecast here so as we read that e is meteorological forecast and here also it is matching exactly E is having the meteorological forecast message. So all the messages was up to here and then finally N N N N. This N N N N indicates 4 N indicates the end of the message. So it means the whole message you have received safely till the end. Let's share one more time transmission start time. So this is the guidelines for under each nav area from A to x all these stations could be there and these are the predefined stations broadcast time so if this is how they broadcast like for b 0000 0010 0410 0810 1210 1610 and 2010 so for a it would have been 0400 so after for all for each time all after 10 minutes for b same for c all after more 10 minutes like this is how they this is how the time sharing is divided so that for a single time two station do not send the same message together now i will talk about 
the number of the meshes as we already learned for each type of message there is from 0 1 to 99 numbers but in the case of navigational warnings we sometimes find that for the case of navigational warnings we sometimes get more than 99 number of messages then the question is how they will arrange the next number after 99 for navigational warnings for navigational warnings a you will find this l is other navigational l is other navigational warnings so after 99 if there is even more they followed by the letter l so that they can cover within the next 99 numbers this is a particular station details that is bangkok If we go to check Bangkok is station F Bangkok so for Bangkok in station details what we find first of all we find the coordinate of the earth station this is the position of the earth station Bangkok and the frequency and then the major thing we found here is the transmission times so for Bangkok it was the station F and as per our guidelines for station F we will we'll check again for station F what is the pre predefined broadcast schedule time for F 0050 0450 0850 1250 1650 and 2050 now we will check for this station you see 0050 so hope this uh, theoretical part is covered whatever reference I have shown in this video like these documents this document and this nav area and particular this is whole overall nav area 21 nav area chart and this is nav area 11 all of these documents are actually from ALRS volume ALRS volume so now I gonna show you in digital publication of ALRS volume how you will find all these reference papers I already opened in my computer ALRS volume 1345 just select in text and all the stations will appear here if you go any stations like Thailand if I go and double click to get the details and go to more details so mainly I, I refer to this document here everything is ex well explained including uh, including the description of the message and the transmission timings of all the all the stations and This was the first referred documents and uh, I'm gonna show you some other references. If you go to reference here and you will find maritime safety information and MSI in two different two different places. One is MSI. If you go to MSI, you will find also some other basic MSI information. You can read out from here. And once again, if I go to reference and open maritime safety information, that is also very well described. And there are many sections here on the top bar. You can see maritime safety information, maritime safety information 2, maritime safety information RNW and WWW. This is various uh, websites are mentioned here from where you will get related websites and maritime safety information material warnings these are the updated present nav area so i also refer to this document and this is materia in merced fleet broadband coverage and then in merced fleet broadband coverage materials nav areas and then materials that's it so these are the papers actually i referred then one more thing is if you go to any station let's say again we go to bangkok and then here you will find specific station details 
let's say you are interested to know uh, what are the NAPTEX stations here and you have to go to any station under under the nav area let's say i go to thailand again and you will find NAPTEX you will find the details here there are three headings one is bangkok details and one another one is NAPTEX if you choose NAPTEX then you will find this document this is nav area 11 and all the Navaria, all the stations that falls under Navaria 11 are shown here. So these few documents I actually referred, and I hope this this is now clear to you as well. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next video of NAPTEX, which is practical management of the message on board.